Good day everyone. Welcome to another uh, video tutorial. Today we're going to tackle about the distance formula and we're going to answer problems about this. In this lesson, we shall answer problems using the distance formula. So let's start. First, find the distance of the point 6, negative 6 from the origin. So we know that the coordinate of the origin is 0, 0, and we need to find its distance from 6, negative 6. So we will assign variables for this. Our, our point 1 is 0, 0, and our point 2 is 6, negative 6. We will use the distance formula. We will write it, and we will substitute the values that we have. So this is x, for x sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 1, and y sub 2. Then we will simplify it further, have giving us the square root of 6 squared plus negative 6 squared. And that is 36 plus 36 or equal to the square root of 36 times 2. Now 36 is a perfect squared. So we need to we need to bring this out of the the square root sign. So that gives us the distance of square root of 6. Uh, 6 squared of 2 units. So that's the distance between these two points. Now let's find the distance between the point negative 12, 5 and the origin. So same method. We will set variable. We will set a variable for the points. 0, 0 will be the point 1 and negative 12, comma 5 will be the point 2. Again, write the distance formula. Substitute the values that we have. Uh, then simplify it further. Do the operation inside the parentheses. Now we have the square root of negative 12 squared plus 5 squared. So negative 12 squared is 144 and 5 squared is 20, 25. That gives us a square root of 169. Now the square root of 169 is 13. So therefore, the distance between two points is equivalent to 13 units. Now find the length of a diameter of the circle whose endpoints are point A and point B. So we have point A and point B, that, that is 14, 8, and 2, 3. Again, we will set a point value for this, a variable for this. Point 1 will be point A and point 2 will be point B. Write the distance formula. Substitute the values that we have. Simplify it further by doing the operation inside the parentheses. Square the both negative 12 and negative 5. That gives us 144 plus 25. That's equal to 169. So the square root of 169 is 13 units. So the distance is 13 units. So the diameter of the of the circle has a length of 13 units. Now in this problem we are asked to find the perimeter of a triangle which is placed in a Cartesian plane with the following vertices 2 comma 1, 2 comma 4 and 4 comma 1. So that is point A, B and C. Now to get the perimeter of a triangle we need to find the distance of each side. So in this case, we will we will solve for the, the length of AB, BC, and CA. So let's start with AB. So these two points are will be our point A and point B. Now we will just substitute it to the distance formula, where in 2, this will be point 2. So that's why 2 minus 2, then 4 minus 1. So this will be x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. We'll substitute it to the distance formula, giving us this equation. Now let's simplify it. 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 squared, and 4 minus 1 is equal to 2 squared. Oh, no, 3 squared, I'm sorry. Now 0 squared is 0, 3 squared is 9. So AB is equivalent to square root of 9, which is 3. Now AC, this one, to, this is a horizontal distance, so we need to 
use again the distance formula to find to, to solve for for its distance we could just count it but in this case i will show you how to use the distance formula to solve it again assign value this will be x sub 1 y sub 1 x sub 2 y sub 2 so x sub 2 that is 4 minus x sub 1 that is 2 then 1 minus 1 so 4 minus 2 that would give us 2 squared and 1 minus 1 that would give us 0 squared so a sub a c is equivalent to the square root of 4 that is 2 now b c the last one is the diagonal distance so in this one we need to work on both x-axis and y-axis. So let's assign value. This will be x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2, y sub 2. So we, we need to, to put this into the formula. So that this will be 4 minus x sub 1 minus 2 and 1 minus 4. Simplify it further. We have 4 minus 2 is 2. This, that's why it's become 2 squared 1 minus 4 that is negative 3 that's why it's negative 3 squared simplify it further we have 4 plus 9 that gives us 13 square root of 13 so the distance between B and C is square root of 13 now to compute for the perimeter we need to add all of these sides so that gives us 3 plus square root of 13 plus 2 and that gives us 5 plus square root of 13 so that is our perimeter depends on what units our Cartesian plane is on scale another triangle again from now on we have x y and z with the corresponding points negative 1 negative 1 6 comma negative 3 6 comma negative 1 now let's find the perimeter of this triangle Let's start with x, y. x, y is the diagonal distance. Now let's use the distance formula for it. That is 6, x sub 2 minus negative 1. Remember that if, you ha you're, if you're substituting negative number, it is wise that you enclose it into a parenthesis so that you won't be confused on the sign. This is noble negative, so it will, will make, this will make us add this to the negative 3 minus negative 1 as well. Simplify it further, we have 7 squared, and this will become negative 2 squared. 7 squared is 49, negative 2 squared is 4, so that gives us 14 plus 4, that is 53. So x, y is equivalent to square root of 53. Now for the x, z, this is the horizontal distance, we could just count it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So distance is 7, but we could also use the distance formula here. So this part, negative 1 minus negative 1 will become 0. So this one will become 7 squared. That is 49 squ squared of 49. That is 7. On YZ, this is a vertical distance. We could just count it. 1, 2. So that's the distance of that. But we'll use the distance formula. So 6 minus 6 is equivalent to 0. So this will be 0. And that will give us negative 1 minus negative 3. And that will give us positive 2 squared. Positive 2 squared is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. So we are right with that. Now let's add all of this. And let's see the, the perimeter. Square root of 53 plus 2 plus 7. That gives us 9 plus square root of 53. So that is the perimeter of this triangle. Now another problem is this. Find the radius of a circle given that the center 2 comma negative 3 and the point 1 negative 1 comma negative 2 lies on the circle. So we have the center to illustrate it further. So the center is 2 comma negative 3 and one of its point is negative 1 comma negative 2. So to find the radius of this, we just need to find the distance between these two points. So let's assign a variable for this. 2 comma negative 3 will be our point 1 and negative 1 comma negative 2 will be our point 2. So let's type the distance formula. Substitute it. So negative 1, uh, so negative 1 minus 2, that would give us negative 3. 
the negative 2 minus negative 3, that would give us positive 1. So, negative 3 squared is 4, is 9. 1 squared is 1. So, 1 plus 9 is 10. So, the radius is the square root of 10 units. Find all the points, 4 comma y, that 10 units away from point negative 2 comma negative 1. So, we are asked to find the value of its y. So, what point will it be if it is 10 units away from this one? So, again, just, just like what we did a while ago, we just identify the points. And by this time, it has a given distance of 10 units. So, this will be our point 1. And this will be our point 2. Now, we will use a distance formula. The thing here is that if we substitute this, we have the value for our distance, that is 10. x sub 2 minus x sub 1, we have value it, but we don't have value for y sub 1. That's why if we simplify it further, we can see that negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6 squared, and this will stay the same. Now, let's simplify it further by squaring negative 6, that is 36. Now, here's the thing. If we're going to find y, we need to eliminate this squared sign. Now, to eliminate that, all we need to do is to square both sides so that it will be canceled out. So, 10 squared is 100. And if we square this, this, third, this squared sign or radical sign will be eliminated. Now, at this point, I want to single out y on, on the one side of the equation. I will subtract 36 on both sides just to cancel out this, this one. And that would give me 64 is equivalent to, the, to, to negative 1 minus y squared. Now, another thing that I need to eliminate is this squared sign. So to eliminate this, I will get the square root of both sides. And that will give me this one. The problem, here, the problem here is that if we get the square root of 64, we will be having two values. It could be positive 8 or negative 8. That's why I write this sign before 8. Now, we'll do simple algebra here. We will put positive negative 8 on the other side and y on the other side. So, to do that, we'll have this equation, or rearrange this equation like this. Now, let's separate negative 8 and positive 8. And that would give us this one, this equation. y is equivalent to 8 minus 1, and y is equivalent to negative 8 minus 1. So the two values for y would be 7 and negative 9. So our points could be y 4, 7, or, or n for negative, 4, negative 9. These two points, if you put it in a Cartesian plane, and this point, they have the same distance. They, these two points have the same distance from this point. Okay, if the distance between two points is 5, find the value of A. So this is the same problem like what we have on the previous one. So all we need to do is, again, to set a variable for this one. Substitute all the given. And this one, the given, we have y sub 2 will be our A. So, and don't forget to substitute also the value of the distance. Again, uh, el uh, eliminate the radical sign by squaring both sides. Oh, I'm sorry. I we just also need to simplify further uh, the things inside the parentheses. Now, let's eliminate the radical sign by, by squaring both sides. So, after we square this... 5 squared is 25. If we squared it, we only just need to take down or to remove the radical sign. Now, let's subtract 16 on both sides. And that gives us 9. It's equivalent to a plus 2 squared. Now, let get, let get the square root of both sides. And let rearrange this the formula and the equation. Let's separate positive 3 to negative 3. And the value for our a's will be 1 and negative 5. And that gives us the point 
Oh no, the, the question is find the values of a. So that is a is equal to 1 and a is equal to negative 5. Now the coordinate of the points on the x-axis are at the distance of 5 units from point 6, comma, negative 3. Find those points. Uh, this is somehow similar to what we tackled a while ago. To the, last, the last two questions. But in this case, we need to understand that, that the coordinate points on the x-axis lies on the x-axis. But we don't know the value of x-axis. If all, if all points that lies on the x-axis has the value of 0 for its y coordinates. That's why we have this as r coordinates for this one. Now let's solve let's solve for the value of x. So let's use a distance formula again. Simplify it further. And after we've done simplifying all the things that inside the radical, let's just square it. We have 25. Let's subtract 9 on both sides. Then after that, let gets let get the square root of both sides. And let's rearrange the equation giving us this equation. Now to find the value of x, we need to separate positive 4 to negative 4. That gives us x is equal to positive 4 plus 6 and negative 4 plus 6. So the values of x are 10 and 2. So what are, so that the question is find those points. So we have 10, 0, and 2, 0. The quadrilateral deer has the vertices of the, uh, that as follows. Show that the quadrilateral deer is a square. Now to show if it is a square, we need to check if the if the, the distance of this quadrilateral are the same because that's the definition of square. It should have an equidistance and it should have square should have four ninety degrees corner and four sides that are equal. And for this part, all we, need, we can use a distance formula to, to check if all sides are equal. So let's do that. Upon using the distance formula, we can see that this square, the side of this quadrilateral has 2 square root of 2 on all sides. So this is now that this is what we can do for now using the distance formula. But in order for us to prove that this is a that this is a square, we need also to apply the slow formula, slow formula, in com in comparison, in comparing two lines, because that in that way we can prove that these two lines are perpendicular to each other, or the pairs of lines are perpendicular to each other. But we will not do this. We, we will not do it here so watch out for my next video on how to how to use a slow formula in proving some geometric properties and coordinate planes so all sides are equal so this is our this is square the thing that we can do uh, without using the distance formula is to check if the diagonals of this uh, quadrilateral is equal as well. So upon checking, upon using the distance formula to, to get the distance of all diagonal diagonals, we can say that this quadrilateral has unequal diagonals. Therefore, the quadrilateral DER is a square. So that's all the problem we could, that we tackled in this tutorial. Again, thank you for watching this and I hope that you see my next video on midpoint formula. So goodbye for now and thank you for watching.